Yo, I gotta ask you, uh, you're a big alien guy, and recently things have gotten like, it feels like, for whatever reason, the last like 12 to 18 months, they keep kind of just like sprinkling little like breadcrumbs, preparing us for the inevitable, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's the uh, well, that hearing with that dude who blew the, you know, the, the, he pretty much said that we're in possession of uh, alien aircraft or whatever the hell and, and then there's the Mexican uh, two I don't know I don't know how legit that one was I believe that shit I believe it too I believe it um, I mean look if you go back like maybe seven or eight years ago there was that guy who was in the Canadian parliament talking about it um, but yeah man what, what, like this shit is crazy like when you saw the Mexican aliens like what were your thoughts because they really rolled them out like an official Mexican government like no nah, that shit's official here's the problem with the world We've been lied to and fucked with for so long that every single time someone posts something, it's just memes and, and people just it joking. It turns into social media jokes. It, and, and that's what they want. Yeah. They don't want us to think like, yo, there's a there's a bigger purpose out there. There's something that we totally don't even know about. There's not, there's something that maybe higher people in our, in our civilization actually communicate with and get game from if you look how fast the world grew it went from fucking riding horses to whips and iPhones and shit for in a small amount of time that's coming from somewhere it's some geniuses and just wake up and be like oh I could fucking make it till we could boom boom nah we're getting game from somewhere right and so I believe that shit I also believe they're, gonna, they're never gonna tell us what's real they're probably just trying to prepare us for some kind of bullshit agenda but there's a lot of truth in some of that bullshit as well. So I, if if it's me talking, I know there's a bigger purpose out here. The gut feeling I got that day to go call, find a concierge doctor, bro. I'm, what the fuck? Like, right? That was bigger than just like me thinking that I should get a private doctor. There's no reason why on that day I even felt that in here in your gut, your second brain, right? Um, I've been watching like a lot of near death experience stuff. Because obviously I had a near death experience in my opinion. I didn't just die and wake up, but like yeah. I came close to it. So in watching all that stuff I just understand there's bigger purpose as as conscious as like the universe goes and so I believe that little alien was real. I believe that Mexico was the first ones to actually sow something they've been holding. I feel like all these civilizations they're uncovering like in uh and you know in, in the jungles and shit all these different pyramids were seeking mm -hmm. man ain't no humans built that shit bro fuck out of here bro yeah it's crazy like, and it's and crazy it's, too that like some of them are so they, they match up other pyramids that are so far apart well they align with the stars perfectly right. they're, all, they're all like in strategic ass you know places in the world that like will line up with like the universe perfectly and I, I mean whatever also I know that humans have dumbed down hard since back in the day it's like oh. And that's what they want. Like, they put so much bullshit and propaganda, and they've created the word like conspiracy theories and and all that stuff. So that way, that things that are real, like look at all the people might have seen UFOs back in the days. It made them seem like fucking loony bins, dude. For sure. I mean, I think of like just like if you were to go back twenty years, and if some of this news would have broke, how big of a deal it'd be compared and, to now. And now it's like no one cares because we're no so one gives wrapped a fuck. up in whatever bullshit they're worried like, about like how to make the next dollar or whose bitch cheated on who or fucking what Kim Kardashian is doing Rock or fucking <laughs> yeah they're worried about some shit that's like yo my man they just showed an alien from a like, thousand there's an alien there's a thousand years ago it proves we're not alone that little motherfucker look real as fuck and like they're happy seeing them comments right now the thing is is like I think once people really like have to realize there'll be a moment where they have to really like be like oh it kind of like, it, you know, for me, I know it's going to make a lot of people who grew up super religious, who grew up believing certain things, it's going to kind of poke a lot of random holes in well, their Well, dude, lives. besides all that, have you ever seen Judah and the Black Messiah? Yeah. All right. Like, look how the government did them, bro. Mm -hmm. Look how they did the Panthers, right? 100%. Like, bro, they will do things to fuck you off, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm not going to say no names. I don't want no smoke with nobody. But I think there's people in our, in our culture right now that caused a lot of trouble on the on the internet and with other celebrities. I believe they're working for the CIA. That's that's my honest opinion. I'm like, yo, there's no way this guy is constantly trying to tempt people and throw people off their game and get them to say or do other things that might put them in jail. It's been an agenda against minorities for a long time. Yeah, so, it's, it's crazy. I think like there is some sort of like, and, and like you said, that word conspiracy theorist has gotten, um, it's gotten to the point where like, 
you, you can't question anything without being called crazy. Yeah, dude, they have fact checkers, dog. Well, and to me, it's like you know, I remember when conspiracy theories were like nine eleven, and you'd be like, oh, you know, let me look into this. But now it's like if if you question anything, they put you in that box. Like I look at. Um, you know, RFK Jr., who's somebody who I, I, I think is dope. You know, I've watched his interviews, and I don't think he's said anything crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just think he's just a curious dude who wants to question shit. But they are so... They just put him in that box. And then people who don't do the the work or the... Like my mom. Like, I told my mom, I was like, hey, I fuck with RFK. And she was like, he's a fucking kook. He's crazy. And I was like, have you ever heard him speak? Like what? he's asking, he's at least addressing <laughs> real world issues. <laughs> yeah, he's addressing the fact that like multiple corporations really run everything. Like, which is crazy. That's which a is, concern. Which, which should be the number one thing everyone should be worried about. That's a concern. Monopoly sucks. Yeah, but Vanguard like, and BlackRock and State Street are like kind of running your entire life, and no one's talking about it. But but mm-hmm. but that also might be the reason why he's. He's getting boxed out, you know? I, I mean, he's the only presidential candidate that doesn't have Secret Service at his disposal. And they, and someone tried to just run up on him. Yeah, so, you know, the world is full of hidden agendas. The more older you get, the more money you touch, the more bullshit you deal with. Like, the shit I'm dealing with with these lawsuits and powerful groups and big money guys, you realize, like, yo, this shit's real, dog. Like, yeah. it's, it's different. Like, you, yeah. yeah, it's different. It's definitely different. Uh, you mentioned having 49 albums. I always say this uh, when we talk about just consistency as an MC, as a rapper, as an artist. I feel like you're one of the most consistent guys in the game. You've always been extremely. I mean, no matter what was going on in your life, you you always have the time to you know hone in and create and make an album or collab with an artist to make a project. Um, for you, uh, like you know, obviously it's a passion thing, but like. For whatever reason, does it still bother you that maybe you don't get the acknowledgement or the accolades or the flowers as a, as a rapper that you do for all the other shit? Nah, because I knew if I put 100% energy behind music, it'd probably be a lot bigger. Right. And I'll argue with my DJ, you know, Teflon on this tour about changing our setup and trying new things. And I, I just told him, I said, bro, it's a bandwidth issue at this point. Like, I'm running Cookies Clothing. I'm running Cookies the Weed Business. I'm running vibes papers i'm running you know this compound and our media you know out company that we're trying to build and i only have so much time for music i told him music is my therapy bro like i don't really look at it like it's my business mm-hmm. if i treat it more like a business i probably make way more money i probably get way more respect i've had people like two chains be like bro like why don't you be like our like Mexican version of Rick Ross like you got that talk you got that respect like people fuck with you but you're not putting enough respect on like your image and the way I'm just like bro I'm just a real dude bro I don't really be tripping off like really trying to build myself as this big old as a facade if you yeah, yeah like like you're not a character nah I just feel like music is a good it's a good therapy for me it's a challenge for me to still try to stay relevant after all this time it's a it's a way for me like to be creative outside of like all this other stuff I have fun doing it, but I don't treat it like my number one priority. I feel like if I did, I could be like a French Montana or something like that, right? Like, I could be looked at as like a bigger artist, right? I could wear jewelry every day and glasses and be fitted up, but like, I'm comfortable in this sweatshirt right now. I'm rich as a motherfucker. Yeah. I don't need to show it, right? Like, for what? Like, my new flex is not to flex. I got a pair of earrings on, but I'm not wearing my you know 20 different rings I'm not wearing big old chains or I'm not really worried about my outfit so much I don't give a fuck all the billionaires I meet look like fucking bums they pull up looking real humble and some dressed down ass shit and that's how that's what I want to be like at this point like bro have you seen the whip I'm driving in right now I gave the Maybach truck back I'm like bro fuck all this flashy shit I got it there's no the world knows I got it so why, why even try to prove it anymore 